Hey, beautiful people. Howdy ball. Howdy ball. I was having some trouble logging in. Technology was attacking me. Gorbani does. Technology giving us a hard time? No, I don't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> Can you, guys, can you guys hear me okay? Is everything all right, sound-wise? Great. Fabulous. I'm good. We're glad. Chandra. Hey. Hari Bol. Hari Krishna. Hari Krishna, Robert Prabhu. So nice to see you. Thank you. Thank you, Hari Bol. Connie Davy. Hi. Hey. And uh, let's see. We've got Sundar Nanda again. And... Hello. Adi, welcome, 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 all you beautiful people. Madhuri Devi Dasi from Rhode Island. We have my dear friend. Uh, let's see, Satsuki Takahashi Kairava, David Sukopi, who's going to be singing with us today. And we have Adwaita Hari, my dear friend here. Srivani's husband is on. Wonderful. So, how's everyone been? Living the dream, living the dream with all this uh, spiritual activity on the web more than ever for us living down here in Central America. <laughs> Interesting, huh? Sometimes we're able to, able to see the silver lining, appreciate the gift. Welcome, Srivani. There's the, the duo, the dynamic duo, Chandra and Brittany. Brittany's logging in here. Hari Bol. Hari Bol. Hari Bol, Hari Bol. Okay, we'll start with some prayers for invocation. Please just sit back and feel that descending rain of grace, of mercy coming to us from all the acharyas, the gurus, the saints, the masters who have blazed this path before us. We can actually, because we're connected through this lineage of sacred sound, we can know for certain. Just like when Srila Prabhupada was very young, there was a great pandemic that was sweeping through Calcutta at the time and at the same time the songs of the bhaktas carried everyone through Prabhupada said that as far as he could see the songs of the bhaktas ended the plague that was going on in Calcutta Harinam Sankirtan so we can know that many others like us throughout history have been at difficult times and have taken shelter of the holy name oh Agyan Dimiran Dasya Gyanam Jana Shalaka Chakshurun Vinita Das mai shri guru ve vande hum shri guru shri juta Padakamana Shri Guru Vaishnava Shri Rupa Sahagana 
Parijana Sahita Krishna Chaitanya Deva Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Nanta Shri Vishakanta Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Shri Mate Bhakti Vedanta Swami Niti Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Prajadine Nirvishesha Shunyavadi Paschati Deshatam Jaya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadha Shri Vatsadi Gaura Bhakta Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram Ram Hare So I remind us that this holy name is like a great boat, a virus-proof cruise liner with room, with room for all of us, with room for all of us to climb on board. And like my mom likes to say, all the great saints and masters, they, when we climb aboard this boat of the Lord's holy name, we realize that they are all there. They are all aboard. And the incredible thing is though this boat has transported so many across the ocean of life's difficulties, whenever they reach the other shore magically, that boat has been deposited back on this shore, waiting for us to climb on board. Uh. So let me, um, I was thinking, let me find this, uh, this bhajan here. This is one of my favorite bhajans by Bhaktivinoda Thakur, um, who of course we're focusing on. Uh, a little more fancy than this one. Um, uh, called the Vina, and uh, this is a song about Narada Muni. Let me try and share this with you guys if you want to. Uh... Join in singing. Is that happening for us here? All right, you guys seeing that? You're not seeing that? Oh. Uh, how about this one? 
You seeing that? Yep. Lyrics here? Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. Let's see here. Is that making them bigger for you? Yes. All right. I want to make sure I can see you guys as many as I can. All right. Okay, what is Spuckton Otaku singing about here? This is a glimpse into a divine kirtan. When the great soul Narada Muni plays his veena. Sorry, that was like my special effect. It's kind of lame though. When the great soul Narada Muni plays his veena, the holy name Radhika Raman descends and immediately appears amidst the kirtan of the Lord's devotees. Like a monsoon cloud, the holy name showers nectar in their ears. All the devotees, due to great ecstasy, repeatedly dance to their heart's content. There's only six verses here. Let me read one more, and then we'll do the Bengali and come back. All the people of the universe. Here, wait. Chandra, why don't you read this one? All the people of the universe become maddened upon entering this intoxicating shower of nectar. Adibo! Some people cry, some dance, and others become fully intoxicated within their minds. Adibo! Okay, so Shivani, my partner in crime here, my bhajan partner in crime, if she's there, if she'd like to sing with us, Please, Shribani Prabhu, please feel free. Are you here? Okay, if you're, if you're able, you can jump in and sing a little bit if you'd like. Narada Muni Bajaye Vina Radhika Ramana Bajai Vina Radhika Ramon Name Nara the Muni Bajai Vina Radhika Ramon Name Nara the Muni Bajai Vina Radhika Ramon Name Radhika Ramana, it means such a beautiful name for Radha and Krishna because it means Radhika, which is a diminutive of Radha, Radhika, like darling Radha. It's like a, a what's the word for it? It's like a, um, very, like an intimate way of calling Radha, Radhika. And the, the way you're calling Krishna is Radhika Ramana. So you're not even calling Krishna's name. You're just saying the one who's giving the most joy and happiness to Radha. That's who we call. So Radhika Ramana. So it's Ra Radha and Radhika Ramana. Radha and Krishna. But as the one who's giving the greatest pleasure to his devotees, especially Sri Radha. Nara the Muni Bajai Vina Radhika Ramana Nami Nara the Muni Bajai Vina Radhika Ramana Nami Nama Muni Udita Hai Bhagata Gita Sami Nama Muni Udita Hai Bhagata Gita Sami 
Let's try this together, singing the first two lines. If you're, uh... It's probably better to put yourself on mute except Srivani so that we can keep our rhythm and sing as loudly as possible. Oh, Nara Damuni Bhata Radhika Please, you want to sing the second verse, Shivani? Omiyo dhara buri shekhano Shravono jugale giya Bhakata jana sagane nache Bhoriya <laughs> Everyone together. Nara the Muni Bajai Vina Radhi Karamanana. Maduripur, the place, the city of sweetness, the land of sweetness, Maduripur. Madhuri Pura Ashava Pashi Mataya Jagata Jane Madhuri Pura Ashava Pashi Mataya Jagata Jane Kehova Kande Kehova Nache everyone Nara the Muni Bajayina Radhika Okay, what does this mean? Coming up now. Lord Shiva embracing Narada Muni. Wow, it's getting serious. This is a kind of wild kirtan here. Lord Shiva embracing Narada Muni repeatedly makes loud screams of ecstatic joy. Ka Kani, give us an example of a loud scream made by Lord Shiva. A loud scream of ecstatic joy. Wow. Sh luckily, wow. Good thing she was on mute for that. She might have blown us all to bits. Honey ball. Incredible. <laughs> Lord Brahma. Dancing very ecstatically. Says all of you kindly chant Hari Bol, Hari Bol! <laughs> Shivani Prabhu, do you want to read five? Yes, go. You want to read number five? Yeah. In great happiness, the thousand faced Ananta Shesha chants Hari Hari. Hari Hari! By the influence of the transcendental vibration of the holy name, the whole universe becomes ecstatically maddened and everyone tastes the mellows of the holy name. Thakur Bhaktivinoda, the humble servant of the Lord, says, The holy name of Krishna has fulfilled all my desires by vibrating on everyone's tongues. Bhaktivinoda therefore prays at the feet of Sri Rupa Goswami that the chanting of Harinam may continue like this always. So this is hundred years ago. So far so good. Here we are. 
Drinking the nectar of the ecstasy of Octavina Takor. So far, so good. Everyone vibrating their tongues. Hedy bowl, hedy bowl. Make back to you know, talk or happy. Die. Pancho vada na nara de dori. Premera sagana ro. Pancho vada ne. Narode Tori, Nero Shakonaro, Kamala Sana Nachia Bole, Bolo Bolo Hari Bolo, Kamala Shone Nachia Bole. Bolo Bolo Hari Bolo Narod Muni Bajai Pina All together Radhi Karamanana Narod Muni Bajai Pina Radhi Karamanana Sahasranana Sahasranana Paramasuke Hari Hari Boli Gaya Sahasranana Paramasuke Hari Hari Boli Gaya Nam Prabhavi Mati Love Shwa Nam Rase Savipa Nam Prabhavi Mati Love Shwa Nam Rasha Shiva Pai Shri Krishna Nam Sanes Puri Puralo Amara Sri Krishna Nam Roshones Puri Puralo Amara Sri Rupa Pade Yacha Yeha Bhakati Vinodada Sri Rupa Pade Acho Heha Bhakati Vinodada Together, not at the moon, Bajai, not at the moon, Bajai, Radhika. Radhika Ramanda Radhika Rama Radhika Raman Jaya Radhika Rama Radhika Ramanda Radhika Rama Radhika Raman Jaya Radhika Rama Radhika Rama Jaya Radhika Rama Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, 
कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे नारद मुनि बजाय बिना राधिक रमन Shastimar Prabhu has joined us, and there's Govinda Datta Prabhu. Let's stop this sharing here. Let's see who else is here. Haribo, Haribo, Haribo Satchamata. How are you, Govinda Datta Prabhu? Nice to see you after a long time. <clears throat> Hare Krishna, all the devotees, obeisances. Obeisances, Hare Krishna. Yeah. So uh, it's uh, seven o'clock. It's that time. We are uh, handing the uh, microphone over to you, Shastivar Prabhu. And uh, I, Vishnu was on earlier, so. Um, He's got the slides. Yeah, she's got the She was on earlier, so I know she'll be back shortly if she's not here now. So, Hi. so while we're waiting for her, I would like to first just offer my obeisances and appreciation to all of the Mataji's on this wonderful Mother's Day. Hare Krishna. Without the mothers, we would be nowhere. And we actually have dedicated this program to the mothers. And the last song that we'll sing is about Donna Lakshmi. And actually all of our mothers there, they are all representations of Lakshmi Devi. And the Supreme Lakshmi Devi is who? Srimati Radharani. Mm, source of all the Lakshmis. So you are all emanating actually we are all as jivas we're all emanating from the lotus feet of srimati radharani but this day we want to dedicate to the matajis thank you for all you do all great souls have come from you all souls have come from you and um i just want to say that Thank you for all you do. It's the love, the, the purest form of love we have in this material world is the love that the mothers have for their families and their children and ultimately for the world. So that pure selfless love that the mothers have is, is what makes the world go around. 
So it shouldn't be a special day for the mothers. Every day should be Mother's Day. That's the way I look at it. So thank you, Mata Jis. Um, we should always hold the Mata Jis in highest esteem. If we did that, then there would be so, many, so much less troubles in this world today. So Govinda Prabhu, please put up the agenda, Mata Ji. So Govinda Dat Prabhu will be sorry, Prabhu, for the delay. Will be uh, speaking more on Amata Ji's later when he speaks. So, along with it being Mother's Day, uh, early in the week in the Chaturthi, that was Lord Nishinga Dave's appearance day, Nishinga Chaturthi. During your bhajan section. Uh, Gaurani Prabhu, did you sing any prayers to Lord Nishinga Dave? Thank you on mute, Prabhu. Prabhuji, I think you're on mute. Oh, sorry about that. I'm having technical this is technical difficulties here. Uh I was singing uh, uh, Narda Muni Bajai Vina. I was feeling Narda Muni is carrying us all the way to Radhika and Raman. So we were singing to Narda Muni. Uh, okay. So Lord Nishingadev. Uh, we, we did some nice Lord Nishingadev kata earlier this week, but uh, uh, he, uh, okay. he he did the business. I want to just start this. Okay. Prahlad and he, he split town, you know, basically. So then... <laughs> Let's start this off auspiciously by praying the Lord Nishinga for the and continued benediction to all of our mothers that yeah. our mothers can stay safe. Yeah. Gauravani Prabhu, can you make me a co host so I can share the screen? Oh, my fault. So we'll just quickly sing Nishinga Day's pranam. Namaste Nadashinghaya. Hirana Kasi Pur Bakshaha Sila Tanga Nakalaye Tona Shingo Pada Tona Shingo Yato Tato Jamita Tona Shingo Bahina Shingo Hitaye Nashingo Shinghamadim Shadanam Papade Tabakara Kamba Lava De No Kang Adbuta Shingam Dali Tahira Nakasi Buta No Benga Kesha Vadrita Nara Hari Rupa Jai Jagati Shahade Jai Jagati Shahade Jai Jagati Shahade Abakara Kamba Lavade Nakam Adabuta Shingam Dalita Hiranakasipu Tanubinga Kesha Vadeta Nadahari Rupa Jai Jagadisha Hare Jai Jagadisha Hare Nada Hari, Nada 
Chaitana. <laughs> Nichananda, she had great the Gadadha, she was a gold Bhakta Vinaki Jai. She radha Krishna Gopa Gopinath, Shama Kunda Radha Kunda Giri Govadan Ki Jai, Ganga Devi, Jumina Devi, Bhakti Devi, Shripati Tosi Maharani Ki Jai, Nitai Goda Premanandi, Hari Hari Bo. All glories to the Assemble Devotees, all glories to the Assemble Devotees, all glory to the Assemble Matajis. All glories to Shishi Guru and Goranga. Jai. Shasti Prabhu, sorry to get technical here. I think you need to uh, check your settings there. Make sure that it says on the top of your screen, turn off original sound, because you were we were having trouble hearing you during the kirtan. Right now it says turn on original sound. So you want it to say off, because that means that it's on. Okay, got it. It's off. Perfect. Is this better? Uh, we can't tell until you do more kirtan, but as long as you changed it just now, it'll be better. Thank you. Okay. Howdy, go. All right. So let's look at the agenda for today, Mataji. So today, on studying the glories of Sri Nishinga Day Bhagavan, I found a very nice sloka that's in a line with what we're doing here. So we're going to read that sloka real quickly. Then we're going to review what we went over last week. And then we're going to jump right into the three songs that we're going to sing today. Sugopi Mataji is going to sing Monday Knowledge is Most Harmful. Gorani Prabhu is going to sing Bodily Beauty is Temporary. And I'm going to sing The Madness for Wealth is Ridiculous. And then his grace, Govinda Dot Prabhu, my dear God brother, is going to speak on that topic. Uh, Govinda Dot Prabhu, you might want to adjust the light while we're doing this right now in your room because there's a glare in your face and we want to see your lotus face when you start speaking. Ah, that's better. Very nice. Better. All right, so that's our agenda. Jaina Shingadev. Let's go to the next slide, Mataji. So ham piyasya surit paridevataya lila kata tova nushinga varincha gita agyat titaraming anugrinam guna vipramukto durgani te pada yugailaya hangsagana. So this is a beautiful prayer by Pallad Maharaj. And 
unfortunately, I can't read it all because everyone's picture is in the way. Let me. You just see. need to click on the different view there, Provo, and it'll be uh, change the gallery view. Okay, there we go. Oh, my Lord, nursing a day, if I engage in your transcendental loving service in association of devotees who are liberated, hunks, I shall become completely uncontaminated by the association of the three modes of mature nature and be able to chant the glories of your lordships who are so dear to me. I shall chant your glories following exactly in the footsteps of Lord Brahma and his disciplic succession. In this way, I shall undoubtedly be able to cross the ocean of nations. Next slide, Montevi. So I'm going to read this wonderful purport because it pretty much describes what we're doing here in taking to this task of reciting the Sri Sri Kalyana Kopataru. Devotee's life and duty are very well explained herein. As soon as a devotee can chant the holy name and glories of the Supreme Lord, he certainly comes to the liberated position. Attachment for glorifying the Lord by hearing and chanting the holy name and activities of the Lord, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, certainly brings one to the position where material contamination is absent. One should chant the bona fide songs received from the disciplic succession. In Bhagavad Gita, it said that the chanting is powerful when one follows the disciplic succession. Evam param paravaptam imam raja sayo vidu. Manufacturing many ways of chanting will never be effective. However, chanting the song or the narration left by the previous Acharyas, Mahajano Jaina Gadasapanta, is extremely effective. And this process is very easy. Therefore, in this verse, Balad Maharaj uses the word Angya easily, accepting the thoughts of exalted. Exalted authorities through the succession is certainly much easier than the method of mental speculation by which one tries to invent some means to understand the absolute truth. Very significant sentence there. Best process is to accept the instructions of the previous acharyas and follow them. Then God realization and self realization become extremely easy. By following this easy method, one is liberated from the contamination of the material modes of nature, and thus one can easily cross the ocean of nations, in which there are many miserable conditions. By following the footsteps of the great Acharyas, one associates with the Hunks or Panamahunks, those who are completely free from material contamination. Indeed, by following the instructions of the Acharyas, one is always freed from all material contamination, and thus one's life becomes successful. For one reaches the goal of life. This material existence by material methods will never be successful. One must take the Krishna consciousness to become really happy. Otherwise, happiness is a samba, impossible. One might say that becoming advanced in spiritual life also involves tapasya voluntary acceptance of some inconvenience. However, such inconvenience is not as dangerous as material attempts to mitigate all miseries. Wonderful, wonderful purport. Hmm? Next slide, please. So with that being said, the past discussions that we've had on these topics right here line up very well with what Srila Prabhupada just said in that wonderful purport. And the main point is that if we try to figure out all of this stuff on our own, then we'll be lost. It is only by the grace of these extremely advanced devotees like Srila Prabhupada that we can become free from this forest of misconceptions and they're all listed right there. These so many different past that can confuse us and ultimately make us become lost in this ocean of material miseries. So Srila Prabhupada, he used to discuss this with his disciples a lot, a lot of times during his morning walks. They were very enlightening 
morning walks. And that's one of my favorite things is to listen to Srila Prabhupada's morning walks. And in that book there, Life Comes to Life from Life is something that he always would chastise the scientists for leading the material so-called Monday material society toward the path of materialism. So if you go to the next slide now, I kind of wanted to go over some discussion that we had last week. Madhaji, um, she asked a question about the difference between a mind and an intelligence. And I, I thought that was a very wonderful question that, that she asked. And we, we didn't go into too much detail last week because we had a lot of different subject matters that we were covering. So I basically just mentioned how ultimately the mind can bring us to um, towards sense gratification. And these two paths are described right here. Either the mind can bring us towards sense gratification or it can bring us to the lotus feet of Lord Krishna in which we can engage in our devotional service in a spiritual consciousness and totally reawaken our souls. But if we follow the path of sense gratification, as it said in the Bhagavad Gita, Jayato Vishayan Punset Sangat Teshu Pajayate Sangat Sanchayate Kama Kama Kroda Pajayate Krodat Bhavati Samoham Samoham Smriti Vipamaha Smriti Bamset Budi Nasho Budi Nashat Panashyati. So this is a very wonderful verse from the Bhagavad Gita, the second chapter where Lord Krishna is describing that as soon as our senses become attracted to some type of scent object, then it becomes attached to that sense object. And from that attachment comes lust. And when that lust is not satisfied, we become angry, right? Krodha. And when we become angry, right, then our consciousness becomes clouded up. That's why in this part you see that the intelligence is X'd out. Because when we become overwhelmed and bewildered by sense gratification, the mind becomes confused and it forgets its, its spiritual connection to the soul. And therefore, in this verse is said that our remembrance of our spiritual duties in life are lost. And then our booty, our intelligence becomes destroyed. So to counter that narrative, we have to engage into devotional activity. And Krishna very nicely describes how we can engage in Buddha Yoga later on in the Bhagavad Gita when he says, Tesam Satata Yuktanam Bhajatam Pratipurvakam Dadami Buddha Yogantam Yenamam Upajantite. So when we engage in bhajan, like we're doing here, we're singing bhajan, bhajanakriya, when we engage in devotional service, like these devotees are in this picture. This is a Govinda Dutt, you remember this picture, right? This is Chicago in the 70s, right? The old, good old days when the Trump presidents and everybody would go out on the streets. This is downtown Chicago. Uttama Shloka Prabhu. Uttama Shloka, what a wonderful kirtanir. And Sri Govinda, cool. These two devotees were cool as ice. Uh, they were such nice devotees. And Rama Kaili's there, Sikimi Hidi, wonderful devotees. They would, you know, go out there, leaving aside all material comforts and just going outside and glorifying the Lord, you know, and amongst the living entities and forgetting about the body and sense gratification. You can see these beautiful devotees. They have shaved heads and dhotis. They're not caring to wear fancy clothes, T-lock on, right in the middle of Chicago. But by them glorifying the Lord by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. The Lord becomes very, very happy. And when he becomes happy, the Dami Buddhio Gamta, he gives us, right? He gives us intelligence, right? 
That intelligence is able to control our mind and once again brings us close to being delivered from this ocean of mature existence. We, we get the attention of Lord Krishna. We see Lord Krishna is there on Guru, and he's listening to the sincere prayers, the bhajans. We're singing these beautiful bhajans. And Gauravani was saying, Narada Muni Bhajai Veena, right? Whenever we sing these bhajans, you should know that Narada Muni is there. We sung that song a few weeks ago. Hari Sada Vaset Chatta, Chatta Bhagavada Arjuna, Gayanti Bhakti Bhavena, Hari Nama Eva Kevalam. And when we sing these bhajans and we chant the holy names of the Lord, these great souls like Narada Muni in the disciple succession, Lord Chaitanya, the six Goswamis, Srila Prabhupada, they all come and join us. And Krishna himself comes in the form of giving us booty intelligence, right? Buddhi yoga, right? So that Buddhi yoga comes in the form of these wonderful instructions, right? And what are those instructions? Those instructions coming from the Bhagavad Gita, Srimad Bhagavatam, Nectar Devotion, Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita, all the Vedic literatures for the most part, they're giving us this intelligence. This Krishna is giving us the weapon of knowledge to defeat our desperate attempt to try to squeeze out some sense gratification from this mature world. These are two great pictures. I love these pictures from the Bhagavad Gita. You know, you see that poor guy there, you know, he, he's trying to put spiritual life, but attachment, pride, and false prestige, they all drag him away from Krishna, and things just get worse and worse. So, that's our situation. I want to thank Madhiji for this. With the hair on the on the right, he looks like he might have <laughs> coronavirus. <laughs> COVID nineteen there with the fiery hair, right? <laughs> so uh, Madhiji asked a very nice question. I just kind of wanted to put that out there this week. You know, I talked about suicide last week in connection with intelligence and. That is very pertinent because there's two types of suicide. There's the physical suicide, which we which ha, which occurs when we go towards sense gratification, because the soul you see on the left side there's no soul there, right? It's just sense gratification because sense gratification causes us to forget our spiritual existence, so that's spiritual suicide, right? Adharatam Das Thakur says Janiya Sunya Visha Kaino that this endeavor for sense gratification is willfully drinking poison because we 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 commit suicide because we lose our our spiritual soul so the mind is capable of causing us to commit suicide either the physical suicide of sense gratification or the mental suicide of all of these bogus philosophies and these these temporary mental states that we spoke about on the last slide so I thought I'd bring that up and and um, clarify that a little bit more this week. Um, this is an ongoing sangha, and you know we we appreciate the questions and any other questions that come up, please provide them, and 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 we'll do our best to clarify the points and and connect them back to the lotus feet of uh, Sri Sri Kalyana Kopitaru. So now. There's no questions. I hope that was uh, good. So we'll go on to the song. So all of the songs are going to be on these slides, Mother G. So you're going to have to be very good at matching the slides with our singers. So the first song we're going to sing is continuing with this narrative of mental speculation and mundane knowledge. So Mother G. Sugopi is going to sing this song for us. And she's the first one that has volunteered to sing. She's courageously volunteered to join us and sing this song. So, Madhaji, thank you so much for volunteering. Over to you. Thank you for the opportunity, Prabhu. And if anyone is wondering where that picture, that incredible picture is behind her, that is beautiful downtown Boise, Idaho.
माधव जी
Thank you. Haribo. Virtual applause. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Apurva. Okay. Shivani Montevideo. Let's read the translation. In Monore, Kano Koro Biddaro Gorob, Smriti Shastro Bakaron, Nana Hasha Alochano, Riti Kore, Joshiro Shora. Oh, mind, why do you give such importance to mundane knowledge? Your discussion and deliberation on the Smriti scriptures various languages and grammar certainly increases the sweet fragrance aroma of your own material reputation name and fame kintu dakho chinta kori jodi na khojile hori bidda krishna proti anurakti shei bije janme bhukti but just look here and consider this for your judgment. If you have not worshipped Lord Hari, then all of you so-called knowledge is just like vicious hell. True devotional service actually takes its birth from the seed of attraction and affection for Krishna. Such a seed is impossible to get by the cultivation of ordinary worldly knowledge. Vritai marjanutar kobhu kobhu apokar Jagotite kori onubhav E bidar alochane Tahari ador janushab I feel that the hair splitting scrutiny of mundane knowledge is actually harmful. On the other hand, however, everyone will appreciate the culminate the cultivation of that transcendental knowledge which awakens love and attachment for Krishna within the mind. Bhukti Badha Jaha Hute Shibtar Mostokete Padaghat Koru. Okoitab Choroshuti Krishna Priya Krishna Bhukti Tarhiya Noder Shay Sheboy Pav Among all the obstacles to devotion, this mundane knowledge is certainly the foremost. You must sincerely kick it out, dear mind, for the real understanding is that Mother Saraswati, the goddess of learning, is very dear to Lord Krishna and devotion to him is her very heart. This very devotion is indeed the sanctifying grace of Bhakti Vinod. So, you guys know how handsome I am. That's why Shastiwar Prabhu chose me to do this one. He wanted to take me down a notch here, you know. So, I'm getting to talk about being the bodily beauty. <laughs> that was a joke. Alrighty. Rook. 
per gora bo che no va per gora bo che no va anitya e che la barca buona e stirata siamo noi le che ci va siamo noi le che ci va e yonga si tola ho be yonki spanda hino ro be Chitaragune hobita Chitaragune hobita Do one thing here, switch this up. Luper gora bokena ba जे वस्त्र धर करो कोता सवारो ही बेतका कोता सवारो ही बेतका रूपे गोरा बाके नो भाई रूपे गोरा बाके नो अनित्याए केलवार को भी न है स्थिरता शमोना ले किचुना दारा सुता बंदू सवे स्मशाने तो मरा जोवे लोवे दारा सुता बंदू सवे स्मशाना तो मरा लोवे Dagda kore grihate ashive Tumi kar ke tumar Ewe buji de kosar Deho nasho basya gati Deho nasho basya gati Ruper gora bo ke no ba, Ruper gora bo ke no ba. Anita e ke lo bar kabul na he stirata, shamo na hoy de ki chuna. Ruper gora bo ke no ba. सो नित्य संभलचा हरि गुना सदागा हरि नाम जप सदा हरि नाम जप सदा कुतर को चादिया मना Koro Krishna Aradhana Kutar ka chadiya mana Koro Krishna Aradhana Binu dera shoy taha Binu dera shoy taha Ruper gora bhakti nubha Ruper gora bhakti nubha Anitya e kelo bhaar khabu na he stirata Shama na oi le ki chuna Shama na oi le ki chuna E anga shita la hove anki spanda hino rove Chita ragune hove chai Chita ragune hove chai Rupa ra gora bo ke no ba Rupa gora bo ke no ba
Jai Ho, Gurani Prabhu Ki Jai. Hare Krishna. Hare Bo. Ektar Baba. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Prabhuji. Bali, duty is temporary. Giovanni Mataji, let's hear a translation of that wonderful song. Rupero Gaurabo Kanobhai Onito e Kale Boro Okuna is Tirodoro Amono Aile Kitubai E Ongo Shitalo Hobe Aki Sponto Hino Robe Itar Agune Hobe Chai Oh mind, my dear friend, why is your bodily beauty such an object of your proud vanity? This body is temporary and there is no certainty whatsoever of permanence. After Yamaraj has paid his visit and taken your soul away, this body will become cold. The eyes will remain motionless and in the fiery funeral cry, it will simply turn into ashes. Je mukho shondar jo hero, darpo netoe nirantaro, sha shibar hoibhe bhojan. Je bastri adar karo, jeba abharano paro, kotha sab rohibhe takhon. Mind, you repeatedly behold the lovely handsomeness of this face, which is your favorite object of constant vanity. It will simply become delicious food for dogs and jackals. At that time, where will you keep all the decorative ornaments and valuable clothes which you appreciate with such high esteem? Dara, Shuto, Bontu Shabe, Shashane Tomare Lobe, Dogto Kori, Grihete Ashibe. Tumi Kar, Ketomar, Ebe Buchi Dakhushar, Dehonash, Abosho Kutibe. Your beloved wife, sons, and friends will take you to a crematorium, and after burning you, they will simply return back to their homes. You belong to whom? And whom belongs to you? Now just try to grasp the es essential significance of all this. That is, the destruction of this temporary body will definitely come to pass. Shunito Shambalo Chao Hori Guno Shada Gao Nam Japu Hoshadai Torko Chariya Mono or Krishnu Aradhana Inodero Astroy Pahai. My dear mind, if you really want the eternal auspicious way of life, then just sing along the glories of Lord always and everywhere. Also, one should certainly chant Harinam Japa at all times, abandoning all useless arguments, dear mind. Just worship Krishna, for such worship is certainly the only shelter of Bhakti Vinod. Mano de Mano de Dana Mada Vitanta Mano de Mano de 
Dana jana vita chata e de anubata. Dana jana vita chata e de anubata. Deho gele se sa kalacha. Deho gele se sa kalacha. Manare, manare, dana mada. Keho deho da ki bade na de. Keho deho da ki bade na de. Keho deho da ki bade na de. Aja pa hoy le she. Deha matra abo shesha Jiva nahi ta ke na adare Jiva nahi ta ki ke na adare Jiva nahi ta ke na adare Manore, manore, dana madani, dana asa. Manore, manore, dana madani. Dani jadi prandita, Dani raja na marita. Dani jadi prandita, Dani raja na marita. Tamara hoy te rabana, Tamara hoy te rabana, Tamara hoy te rabana. Dani na hila ki de. Adaiva ki kari vedan Adaiva ki kari vedan Adaiva ki kari vedan Manure Manure Dana madani kanta asa. Mani, mani re. Ata. 
जारी था कि बाहु तारे थाकी तहु दाना नीच जो अले आके चेना बाइशना बेखरो उपाखा बाइशना बेखरो उपाखा बाइशना बेखरो उपाखा बाइशना बेखरो Divadoya anu shana Radha Krishna Hala Dhanna Divadoya anu shana Radha Krishna Kuru sada hoye sada cha Kuru sada hoye sada cha Kuru sada hoye sada cha O mano de Mano de Mano de Mano de Mano de Tana Mada Tanta Asa Mano de Hare Krishna Hare Krishna, 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 Hare. Everyone chant by yourselves. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Hare Baba. Hare Krishna, Hare. Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare. Krishna, 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 Hare, Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Rama, 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 Hare, Rama, Rama, Hare. Krishna Krishna Hare Hare Oh Manu De Manu De Manu De Dana Mada Nikanta Asa Manu De Everyone sing Manu De Manu De
I've never been so ecstatic about all of these horrible things. Hearing you sing about all these horrible things makes us so happy. <laughs> Hare Krishna. Oh, right, very nice, Rahul. Very let's nice. Hear the, let's hear the translation. Onore, Dhanu Dado, Tanto Ashar, Dhanu Jano, Bitto Jato, E Dehero Onu Gato, Dehu Gale, Vishakulu Chhar. Oh, my dear mind, oh, mind, oh, mind, you are greatly intoxicated by your wealth and possessions. But just let me tell you that this is completely useless. When this body is gone, your wealth, followers, property, as well as everything else that depends on this body will be good for nothing at all. Bhittaro jate ko cheshta, kiki chok ko deshta, kihu deho rakhi bare nare, ajapa khoile shesh, deho matro abo shesh, Despite all the vast medical knowledge and dexterous efforts of the advising physician, one will never be able to keep this temporary body. When the life heirs expire, the only thing which will, left, which will be left behind is the gross body, for the soul cannot remain trapped within such a dead container for a very long time. Dhani jodi pramlito, raja na morito. nahi deho. If wealth had the power to prolong life, then a rich king would never have to die. The demon named Ravan also thought that he possessed deathlessness until he was finally killed by Lord Ram. Thus we see that no one to date has ever been able to protect and keep his body with any amount of money, for no one can prevent his body from dying. Therefore, what is the use of your riches? What is the use of your riches? What is the use of your riches? Jodi thake bohu dhan, nije habe akin chan, koshnu ber karo upokar. Vedaya unukhan, radha krishna aradhano, karo shada, hoye shada char. Dear mind, if you have any excess wealth, then just make yourself lowly and humble and use that wealth to do something beneficial for the service of the Vaishnavas. Constantly showering compassion to all souls, worship Radha Krishna and always make your standard of behavior clean, saintly and virtuous. Absolutely beautiful. So, I would like to introduce my very dear God brother, Govinda Dutta Prabhu. Um, he, he was part of the Radha Dhammada traveling Sankirtan party. And this Prabhu is such a wonderful devotee. Sorry, can I interrupt? Govinda Dutta Prabhu, can you move your camera so that we can see your... Uh... Your uh, uh, shining face. Die. Die. There we go. Thank you. For... So, I requested my dear God brother to talk, if he could, we'll find a wonderful mothers out there because they are the representation of Lakshmi Devi and also how Prabhupada taught us to engage Lakshmi in the service of Krishna and during the process of Sankirtan. So Prabhuji, thank you so much. This is a very senior God brother of Srila Prabhupada. He's a Prabhupada man all the way. He's performed so many austerities for the International Society for Krishna Consciousness and he continues 
He's getting ready to start a, a food distribution program. He's been in LA, he's been in, in New York, Los Angeles, and St. Louis, and he's preached in Hawaii, all over the world. He's a wonderful devotee. Over to you, Governor Dapagu. Ijai. Hare Krishna Prabhu, thank you all very much. Nama Om Vishnu Padaya Krishna Prasthaya Bhutale Srimate Bhakti Vedanta Swamini Tinamani Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Pracharni Nirvasesha Shinyavari Pashta Jadisha Tarmi Ome Gera Timalandasya Yananjana Shalakaya Chakshu Miritam Jaina Tasma Shri Gauravena Maha We were born in the darkest ignorance. When our spiritual master is opening our eyes with the torch of knowledge, I offer my respectful obeisances unto his lotus feet. Sri Chaitanya Manobhistam Stapitam Jaina Bhutale Swayam Rupa Kadamayam Dadati Swa Padanti Kam When will Sri Goswami Prabhupada was established within this material world the mission to fulfill the desire of Lord Chaitanya give us shelter at his lotus feet. Vandeham Shri Guru Shri Yuta Parakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Cha Shri Rupam Sagra Jatam Sahagana Raghuna Tam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Savadutam Parijana Sahitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Radha Krishna Padam Sahagana Lalita Shri Vishakam Bitam Cha Hey Krishna Karuna Sindhu Dina Bandhu Jigapate Gopesha Gopika Kanta Radha Kanta Nivastate Tapta Kanshana Gorangi, Radhe Vrindavan Eshwari, Vrishabhanu Sutta Devi, Pranamami Hari Priye, Vanchakapa Tribhyas Cha, Kripa Sindhu Beva Cha, Pati Talam Pavanebhyo, Vaishnavebhyo, Namo Namaha, Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Prabhu Nichananda, Shri Advaita Gadahar, Shri Vasari, Gora Bhakta Vrinda, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama, Rama. Hare, hare. So thank you all very much. What an auspicious way to observe Mother's Day by singing these wonderful bhajans. I can admit that um, bhajans have definitely been absent from my devotional sphere. Um, gosh, but Shashivar Prabhu kept mentioning Radha Damodar. We were traveling with Vishnu John Swami. And these bhajans were definitely the center of his life. The bhajans and Harinam Sankirtan. Vishnu John Swami would go out from morning until actually very late at night. And he was so dedicated. So I'm, I'm really appreciating these bhajans. It's um, something I have to try to work on, uh, as Shasti Bar Prabhu mentioned that I'm trying to start a prasadam distribution program because I feel what they're, what they're doing in Northern Florida uh, with the Krishna lunch is really, really wonderful. I, I started a, a food truck, I should say I was instrumental in starting a food truck in Hawaii. And um, it was wonderful going to the universities, um, giving prasadam to the students, giving books. It was just, um, gosh, it was very much Krishna's mercy on me. So, Srila Prabhupada made a statement to us when we were on Radha Damodar party that has really just stuck with me. That even if we can engage the karmis, Prabhupada used the words, even if they offer a farthing. Now I looked up the definition of the word farthing, and if I'm remembering correctly, I don't have it in front of me, but it's one twenty-fifth of a cent. So Prabhupada said, even if we can engage the materialist just one farthing in devotional service, they're saved from going to the deepest, darkest regions of hellish existence. And this statement that Srila Prabhupada made, I was probably at the time, I'm guessing, I was 19 years old. I've been on Radha Damanar party for almost a year. So it has really, really reverberated and stuck with me. And then that verse in the Bhagavad Gita, Nihabha Krama Nashal Sti, Prachavayona Vijite Swabham Abhyasya Dharmasya Trayate Mahato Bayad. 
So I know every mother would love for their child to become, at least become successful and have a very productive life. If not, the president of a company or the president of the United States, whatever. But here, Shilabhakti Nol Thakur is telling us this is not the real success of life. This is not the real success. And he's emphasizing this Krishna consciousness, of course, the Harinam, the Mahamantra, Japa. He's emphasizing these things. And they're de emphasizing the body. Another um, profound statement that the devotees, when I was visiting the temple for the first time, I mean, more or less the first time. So the Radha Damodar party had pulled into, I've been attending, the, actually, I had been attending the uh, temple for some time. The first time I met the Radha Damodar party. So no one actually had asked me to join the temple at the time. And um, I can remember when I did join the temple, my mother was very disappointed. My father was very disappointed. I had a scholarship. They were very, very disappointed. But little did they realize how unhappy I was in, in material life. And as a devotee, because sometimes we're absorbed in the nectar of Krishna consciousness, we're living under the shelter of a temple or whatever the case may be, we may even forget how much we were suffering in the material world. So I, I asked Krishna, please remind me how much I was suffering and how much suffering there is in the material world. So my solace, the devotees told me that, you know, I had a full scholarship to college. So the devotees told me, um, we have so many doctors, we have so many lawyers, we have so many engineers, we're lacking devotees. And you should, you should take up devotional service full time. We don't need more doctors, we, don't need, we need more devotees. So I was thinking I had so much responsibility to my family or whoever, to my friends, whoever. So they told me if you died today, the world wouldn't stop. It would just continue. Just like Bhakti Vinod Thakur sings in a song that after they burn the body, what's it called? Smashana Vairagya. After they burn the, the body, the family members go home and carry on. I believe Srila Prabhupada tells the story of Sridhar Swami, that he had a newborn child at home before he took sannyas. He had a newborn child. And Krishna gave him the inspiration. He saw a uh, lizard or a gecko, whatever it was, just have a baby. And the baby was sitting there and a bug came by and the baby ate the bug. So for that, Sridhar Swami was inspired to understand that Krishna is supplying for everyone. Krishna is supplying for everyone. So I was so worried. I had a younger brother at home. My mother and father had divorced. And um, I was helping the, the family to what I considered, helping them, bringing home food or whatever, money, whatever the case may be. I was working and going to college, which was a horrible mix. <laughs> but Although I was worried, the devotees just begged me, just spend one week in Krishna consciousness. They tricked me. They tricked the mind. They tricked my mind. They tricked my intelligence. They tricked me. Try this for one week. Shil probably made a similar statement. Whoever would try this process even for one week, they will feel so much nectar. They will feel so much nectar. So, um, that's my experience. I was so happy that even though I had pledged to try the process for only one week, I was convinced just to stay in Krishna consciousness, just convinced to stay. So 
Um, I was worried about my brother, my mother. Everyone went on. My brother was younger than me at the time, seven years younger. So what was he, 12 or 13, 12, 11 years old. I was 18 years old at the time. He went on to be very successful. He has a family and children. He's favorable to Krishna consciousness and all the other family members. My older brother, who I hadn't seen for 40 years, left home uh, as soon as he was 18. That was just the mood at the time. This is the early 70s. There was so much, uh, let's just say, unrest in society, unrest in the government, the, 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 uh, the, the hippies, the youth, uh, so much. So my father, my brother, 18 years old, he left home. I think I had $100 in my drawer that he stole. <laughs> he said he got on a bus. He didn't, he didn't admit to stealing the $100. $100 was gone. But anyway, he got on the bus and said, take me as far as you can for $100. And he wound up, I think, in Arizona, got off the bus. He didn't have a clue of what to do. So family saw him there and invited him to their home. Right, and then he was wondering what to do. Got a, he got a menial job, whatever he did. And then he, then the cell phones had started coming out. He thought he saw people playing a little game on his cell phone. He thought, let me see if I could do that. And that's what he did. He taught himself how to write write a program on a cell phone. He became a multimillionaire. I didn't see him for forty years. We didn't even recognize each other. He said, oh, I'm looking for Govinda. He didn't call me Govinda. I'm looking for Govinda. Where is he? I said, that's me. <laughs> so Prabhupada tells that story that we don't remember Krishna. We don't remember Krishna. But as we hear more and more, we reintroduce Krishna consciousness into our hearts, back into our minds, back into our existence. We'll remember Krishna more and more and how much we're meant to dedicate our life. Prabhupada used the example if we have a cup that's full of ink, but if we pour in nectar into the cup, eventually the ink will be washed away and eventually it will only be nectar. So we may be um, struggling. Lord Chaitanya said we have very little attraction, right? Nam nam akari bahudani shaktis. We have no attraction for chanting. Although when I heard the devotees chanting just now, it was very attractive. <laughs> it was very attractive. <laughs> but we, I, we struggle. I struggle. So some of the devotees during this time, they're chanting so many extra rounds. That's so wonderful. And um, I'm back in Los Angeles before I went to Hawaii. I had a, let's just say I had a successful, a successful property management business and I would remodel property. So some of the clients have heard I'm back in town. I've remodeled, I'm really trying to um, get ready for my prasadam distribution program, which seems to be headed in the direction that it's going to be happening soon. Colleges are struggling right now. They've lost their, what they, what they feel to be a lot of their income. They can't hold sporting activities anymore. They earn so many, so much money from sporting activities, right? They cannot bring international students right now who pay double the tuition of anyone else. If you're in, let's say California, I'm in California. You have one tuition. If you're from out of state, you pay more, right? If you're an international student, you pay double. You pay double. So they're, they're in tears right now, the universities. They're in tears about their finances. So I, I feel like, wow, well, we should bring Prasadam there, just like they do in Northern Florida. We should bring Prasadam, and they can donate. Prasadam, I tell everyone that, of course, we know prasadam means that the food is blessed by Krishna. But I tell everyone, food is very, very special. It is a gift of Krishna. It is not something we can force. Prabhupada wrote an article 
You can't eat nuts and bolts, right? We cannot force the trees to give their fruits. We cannot force them. If they don't give the fruits, just like we know in California, there's drought. And a lot of the crop is ruined because of the drought. But even if there's full percent in America, we're so spoiled. Maybe Krishna is doing a reset. But we're so spoiled, we throw away, practically throw away half of the food that's grown in America. People buy things at the supermarket, they throw it in their fridge, they forget about it, they look and oh, it's rotted. People go to restaurants, they order something. They don't completely eat what's on their plate, they throw it away. Right now, because of these crises, there's something messed up in the food. Factory farming is so unnatural. I don't know how many of the devotees here are, that, are, that are watching. There are 22 participants. How many of you have a garden? We've gotten so far removed. Prabhupada explains how they're being tricked to leave the farms. You see the trains. Prabhupada's experience was he sees the trains packed. They're leaving they're leaving the, the farmings and they're going to the big city to earn rupees because everyone's convinced with money you can just buy them, buy whatever you need. We just heard Bhakti Vinod Thakur said, you can't do that. Actually, some devotee, Vijay, different devotees gave a class, name different things money cannot buy. So right now, people are thinking, oh my God, my finances. Just like when I moved to Los Angeles, for a one bedroom apartment, it was $500. Currently a one bedroom apartment, if you can get it for $1,800, that's a good deal. So what changed besides people's greed? What changed? When we take a avocado, there's some avocado trees in California. When I take in the avocado, uh, it doesn't ask me for the $2 that the store is asking me for the avocado. The tree's like, here's the avocado. Here's the avocado. Here's the, here's the, here's the, when I was walking, when I was in Hawaii for was almost two years, I would take a morning walk. And there were so many fruit, I would take a bag and I would fill my bag with papayas, with mangoes, with avocados, with star fruit. Um, what else? Um, guava was very, People were afraid because there is something about snails on the ground that if there's a brain disease. So people would tell me, aren't you afraid? I would tell them, no, I, two years I ate the fruits. I took a morning walk every, I fill up a bag of fruits. And uh, I would wash them, of course, wash the fruits. But people have become so far removed. They think they have to go to the store to get fruits, to get vegetables. So, Possibly Krishna is doing a reset with all of this, with all of this. People are in tears about their finances. They should be in tears about their spirituality, as Bhakti Vinod Thakur is emphasizing here, that we've lost the real focus of life, right? Bhakti Vinod Thakur is reminding us. The real focus of life is to develop, to develop our Krishna consciousness. So he wants us to work on our sadhachar, right? One song ended in... Uh, improving our sadhachar. So uh, people are so re so far removed. There's a big article on MSM today, what Jesus really said about heaven and hell. And the person in the article saying, Jesus never spoke about heaven and hell or e eternal damnation or, and he's presenting so many different arguments. How and some of the arguments are when you're dead, you're dead. The body's just going to go to worms. Bhakti Thakur said the same thing, but what is the real life in the body? If we analyze the body, what chemicals are there? How much, is, how much are those chemicals worth? When I was younger, it was about $7. Maybe with inflation, the chemicals in this body are worth $14. We can buy all the chemicals that are in the body, which is mostly water, but there's some different chemicals. We are not these chemicals. The Bhagavad Gita de dedicates a whole chapter, right? Just to the soul. 
So Krishna says, Najayate Mriyate Bhakadachin, Nayan Bhuva Bhavita Vana Bhuya. Krishna says, For the soul, there is never birth nor death. And then he attacks it from another angle. For the soul, there is never birth nor death. Nor having once been, will it ever cease to be. We are unborn, unborn, eternal, undying, ever existing. In prim Krishna has to attack us from every every angle to, to, to enlighten us about the soul. We are unborn, eternal, undying, ever existing, and primeval. Gauravani Prabhu is waving at me. Is there a reason? When I'm unmute yourself or? Am I going over uh, time? No, not at all, Prabhu. We're in, ex we're in ecstasy. I actually was waving at another participant uh, oh. who just showed up with his wife. I haven't seen her for a long time. You're okay, speaking you. so nicely. Please do not allow me to interrupt you. You're ecstatic. Everything you're saying is so, so nectar to our heart. Well, see the advanced devotee he sees like that. Shiloh Prabhupada sat in classes, and he was just so, so, it, he was so proud that his devotees could preach. Hansa Duda Prabhu, he left his body recently, and we know that he had some difficulties in his devotional service. But when he was preaching in India, challenging these scientists that can you produce one egg, he said he challenged, it was in the newspapers, he was challenging this um, Nobel laureate. He was challenging him. If you produce one egg, I will give you 1 million rupees. And if you can't, you have to give me 1 million rupees. I know Shiva Prabhupada was speaking with Dr. Patel and he was making a bet with him and Dr. Patel was saying, even if I win the bet, Shiva Prabhupada, you're such a good preacher, you will talk me out of the money that, that I would win. But anyway, Prabhupada was very, very, uh, was very impressed at, at he was also Bhakti Sri Dhamanar Swami stood up at UCLA here and challenged, I don't know if it was the same or a different Nobel laureate, about finding the, the building blocks of life. He said, now we have discovered the building. So Bhakti Sri Dhamanar Swami, he stood up and he said, if I give you these chemicals, can you can you produce life? And his reply was, that I cannot say. Prabhupada used that so often in his in his in his talks. He Prabhupada was very, very proud that Bhakti Sri Dhamanar that Hansadu Prabhu stood up and challenged. So similarly, we have to make it a point that uh, to cut the materialist atta attachments in the material world. We have to we have to find that. Uh, point that we can preach on to break their attachment to the material world. So Krishna helps us right now. Krishna helps us. People are losing their finance, right? I have a friend. He said, what I invested in the stock market in 40 years, I lost in 40 minutes. And so what he did was, he lost over a million dollars. So what he did was, he approached each of his family members. I'll get your money back and I will double it. He borrowed another million dollars and he lost that as well. So he called me, he said, I'm going to commit suicide. And he was it very is. serious. It he was very serious. Mine. <laughs> yeah. So I told him it's not worth it over money. Prabhupada had a friend in India who went to China and that friend would come back with a box of rupee notes a whole trunk full, Prabhupada said, a whole trunk full of root. And he was paying people and giving them, Prabhupada knew they were counterfeit. So Prabhupada criticized this paper currency. Prabhupada told us, if you get money, immediately spend it, get something tangible, do something for us. Bhakti Vinod Thakur ends his, right? He ends his, uh, uh, we ended, I mean, that one, but what is the use of wealth? What is the use of, use of all of the wealth? What can, what can our wealth do for us? It can't buy, it can't prevent us from dying. That's for sure. Otherwise, it, says a wealthy king would have never died. We, we know during our time, I, I don't think it's popular any longer. People actually paid 
to have their bodies frozen. I believe, I believe Walt Disney had his body frozen, hoping that at some point they would find, what's it called, geriatrics, where they're going to keep people from dying and they would be unfrozen. This is true. Cryogenic, believe, cryogenic freezing. Right? Yeah. It's called pyrogenics? Cryo, cryogenics. Cryogenics, I'm sorry. So, Prabhuji, so we were, <laughs> you know, talk where he says one day they're just going to take that old cryogenic frozen body and feed it to the jackals. And uh, what else? What else? Did he I say? think they had, to, they, they had to unplug everyone. Do you know how dogs. expensive refrigerators Dogs and jackals. <laughs> so, Prabhuji, we officially run out of our assigned time. And I, I just want to open it up. And it's been a wonderful program. And ask all the participants if they have any final comments or questions that they would like to present before we officially uh, give everyone their time back. Anything that you want to add? Any questions for Governor Dr. Prabhu? One final comment. Keep going, keep going. <laughs> who, who was that? That was Gurudas. Gurudas. Good, does he has an insatiable appetite for Hari Kata? <laughs> I think he was referring to the bhajans. They were so no to you, the, bhaj the bhajans have been so far removed from my like realm of devotional services. Was really Krishna's mercy on me today. I don't deserve to you know be be uh, gifted like this on Mother's Day. The mothers should all you know only be focused on but thank you very much those budgets were really wonderful thank so you. i want to say so uh, much thanks to uh sukopi mataji over there she she was the first one that offered to to sing a bhajan and she is she did wonderful i'm i'm so so appreciative to her and she's so young she's so young thank you mataji is wonderful wonderful singing and of course, Gauravani Prabhu, he always he, he can just close his eyes. And I think I told him five minutes before it was it was time that, that it, you know that he needed to uh, sing, and he already just composed a beautiful melody with his ektar and just it, he's just a natural Gauravani Prabhu. Thank you. It was, it was so sweet, so sweet. So very wonderful, and Shasti Varpu as well. Yeah, Shasti Varpu was bhajan was over the top it was like it was like the icing and the cake <laughs> so you know while we have govinda data i wanted him to if, if he could if anyone's welcome to drop off but can you talk about the days when 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 we were when tomorrow krishna Maharaj was having us out there just liberate lakshmi that's that's what what that's what we called it it was like in, in this song, Bhakti Bhinav Thakur is talking about Ravan, how Ravan stole Mother Sita. So, you know, all our Sanctan leaders used to say that everybody is enjoying Sita, the mother Lakshmi, without Ram. And we have to go out there and liberate Lakshmi from these rascal Ravanas, like this song is, is saying. So can you give us, can you remember one interesting story where you preached to one of these Ravans out here who, who didn't want to part with their Lakshmi, but somehow or another by Krishna's grace, you were able to give them a book and they were able to part with their Lakshmi over to you, Govinda. You know, probably one of my most impressive times was when I met someone and they showed some interest in Krishna consciousness. This is, a, this is probably in the, in the late 70s, I, I'm thinking it was after Srila Prabhupada left his body, left, left, left us here. So I met a person and um, I said, this was the first time I'd ever tried to do a set of books. I said, can I come to your home and show you some more books? He said, oh, sure. You'd be very welcome to. So he gave me directions to his home and I uh, I wanted to make sure I did my quota for the day. We had quotas. We had quotas that they were based on what we were capable of doing. And we felt like we had to do our quota for Shula Prabhupada. Shula Prabhupada had us 
I think I think the only the only word I could use for the inspiration was that Srila Prabhupada had us loving him so much, so much. We understood that Srila Prabhupada was in direct communication with Krishna. So we were so dedicated. I mean, we would do anything to do our quotas. Sometimes the Sangatan leaders wouldn't have let us in the van, right? They'd hit us up. Okay, how much did you do? If you didn't do of, your quota, it was like, okay, back out there, <laughs> hit the lot. It was out of love. I remember one time Tamal Krishna Goswami said, Govindadat, you know, you haven't been making your quota. You can't stay on the bus with us. Us meaning Tamal Krishna Goswami, Vishnu John Swami. I said, today I'm going to go out and double my quota. Everyone was like, whoa, what? <laughs> I started, I mean, we used to go on Sankirtan. We would leave at 9 a.m. And if we stopped at 9 p.m., that was a short day. That was like, God, it's still, there's still more time we could go out and distribute books, collect donations, you know, whatever, do Sanger time. And on the weekends, it was 1 a.m., 2 a.m. I don't know if everyone knows what a drive-in theater is, where people would drive their car in and watch the movie from their car. We would work those until 1 a.m., 2 a.m. And um, sometimes only sleep four or five hours to go out the next day early, especially during marathons. So anyway, this person told me, yes, I could come to his home. So I finished, finished early. You know, I had my quote. I was, okay, I had my quote. I'm going to try to do a set of books first time. So I noticed that every instruction that he told me, turn left on L Street, turn right on Tom Street. It was just the opposite of what it really was. I was supposed to turn right on L Street, not left. Turn left on Tom Street instead of right. So it just came to whatever he said, I just did the opposite. So when I got to his home, it was a trailer. He was not very wealthy. He was not very wealthy. So I got to his trailer and knocked on the door and he said, oh, so happy to see you. How were the directions? I said, oh, the directions were wonderful. Right? <laughs> so uh, I said, can, I'm here. Can I, can I show you the books? This was probably like 6.30. By then seven o'clock at night, seven in the evening. I mean, so um, I brought in this set of books, and he said, "Oh, this looks really wonderful." I was showing him the different books. He said, "How much are they?" I said, "Well, you know, we ask for three hundred dollars set of Shrimad Bhagavatam. Back in the in the seventies, that was a lot of money." He said, "Oh, that's 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 nice, but I, I don't have three hundred dollars. I just don't to buy a car money. for three hundred dollars back then." In those days, we used car, right? So I said, you know what? Let's just, I don't know what made me say this. I don't know what made me do this. I said, let's take your books off. We had, he, had a, he actually had a bookshelf. I said, let's take your books off and let's see what this set would look like on your bookshelf. So I started taking the books off of the shelf and underneath one of the books, there was $300. I couldn't believe it. I looked at him, I said, wow, look at this. Krishna put this here so you could get this set of books. This is amazing. This has never happened before. I've never seen this before. And I put the books on that shelf and I put the $300 in my pocket. I was like, I've got to go for this. This is, must be Krishna's arrangement. I didn't know what else to do. And not only that, he had like a two bedroom trailer. He was the only person there. I asked him, after, cause, cause I spoke with him a little bit more about Krishna consciousness and how nectarian it is to engage in Krishna's service and how he had done a wonderful thing by getting us this set of books. So after some time I asked him, you know, it's getting late. Do you mind if we stay the night? I see you have an extra room. And he let us stay the night. And uh, I made sure I locked the door. <laughs> I didn't know what his, I don't know what made me do all that. We stayed the night and uh, we left. We woke up early and we, we left there. And I told him, thank you very much. And um, to this day, I won't, I won't ever forget how Krishna allowed me to do that. I was like, I had never done that before. I'm like, you know, in my, in my early 20s at this 
this, yeah, maybe I'm 21 years old and I'm like, I don't know what made me do what I did. It was just, uh, it was just, I was constantly praying and thinking of Shiva Prabhupada. Um, I mean, there's so many other nectarian sangatan stories that, that the devotees that the devotees tell, but can I, can I ask you a question? Something that came up that came up for me when we were um, hearing, I think, at the very beginning when Shasti Warfare was reading that purport, and it's tie, it ties in with the the perspective that you're sharing on the Harinam story. Um, I can't remember the exact line, but it was something about Shila Prabhupada's perspective on. Or maybe it was what you said about a farthing. It was something you said about the farthing. And I was mm. just thinking about how even if we can get them to spend a farthing, that's what you had said. And I was just thinking how from a material perspective, it sounds like Prabhupada's just trying to cheat everyone out of even the tiniest bit of money. Just whatever it takes mm. to get them to get just anything. Whatever mm. money you can get from them. But, but from Prabhupada's perspective, he literally is saying even a the tiniest bit of money will help them in their spiritual life. The tiniest bit of energy, the tiniest bit of sacrifice, the tiniest bit of offering. Mm -hmm. So maybe just can you speak to how our own perspective has to be somehow um, aligned with, like in other words, it's not okay for us to just mimic Srila Prabhupada. We actually have to try and align our consciousness with Srila Prabhupada. Otherwise... Mm -hmm. We, we we have we have the danger of actually just hurting others or being or being uh, selfish, but in the guise of devotees. You know what? You understand my question? I do. You know when we were when we were doing airports and different venues, so many people knew about us. And they would call us beggars. So it bothered some devotees. They took it to Shola Prabhupada. They said Shola Prabhupada. They're calling us beggars. Prabhupada immediately replied, we're not beggars. Beggars have nothing to give. We're giving them the opportunity to engage in Krishna consciousness. Srila Prabhupada said, when I came to America, I didn't come to earn, to make money. I said, that was never, ever a consideration, never, never any part of my focus. I only came to give. I only came, that was Prabhupada's mood. He only came, and Srila Prabhupada even said in terms of his um, being the spiritual master, you know, so many Western people, he said, um, I actually always want to be their servant. Prabhupada said that I always want to be their servant. That was Prabhupada's focus. Even he said, sometimes I have to chastise you. That's my duty. That's my duty as a spiritual master. But he only did it in service to a spiritual master. He always, always offered everything to show Bhakti Siddhanta. Always offered everything. So any of this money, as I said, I have this um, property management business and kind of Krishna was throwing a lot of Lakshmi my way. I was managing a lot of property in Hollywood for a lot of important people, et cetera. I kept praying to Krishna, to Lord and Shri, they please let me utilize all of this in your service. That's That was my prayer. I told a person, I can, I can replace your water heater for $300. Oh, I don't want the $300 job. I want the $800 job. I told him, oh, okay, you want the $800 job. Okay, I'll give you the, I wasn't gonna do anything different. But Krishna sent me this Lakshmi. I was thinking so that I could do this, start another Krishna lunch program because I really <laughs> hate to keep. I really, you know, feel like that's a very nice way to engage. Probably wanted us to go to universities and engage the students, etc. But even I see pennies on the I see pennies on the street. I always stop and pick them up, and I don't care what people think of me. Look at that guy picking up penny and pennies. <laughs> I'm going to give it to Krishna. I want to give it to Krishna. So it's very nice that you brought that up, how we have to have the correct consciousness. I pray to Krishna that I don't spend one. I went to India for two months. I, I kept praying to Krishna. I, you know, I was, first of all, do I, do I, you know, 
buy myself self a ticket. I quit my I quit my property management business. I told everyone I have to retire because they asked me to be Temple President of Hawaii, right? So I said it's time for me to time for me to retire. And I walked away from it all. They were I gave them proper notice. They were all kind of like um, astonished. I'm like, are we paying you enough, etc. Anyway, so. Um, the, the, the point, uh, point and I kind of just lost my train of thought, but um, we want to utilize all of their, all of that. We have to have the proper consciousness. Yeah, to utilizing funds. Oh, the point I was making. So they told, told Shula Prabhupada, Shula Prabhupada is so expensive because Prabhupada asked everyone to go to India, right? Prabhupada said, and the, the, the managers, they told Shula Prabhupada it's so expensive. So Prabhupada's immediate reply was, Eating is also very expensive. Meaning like, <laughs> what's not expensive? Probably one of the devotees to go to the Holy Dham. So I went to the Holy Dham. Of course, I was praying that I could do my prasadam distribution. I went to Puri. I went to, uh, my, I started off in Vrindavan, went to the Six Goswami's temples, begging them. I went to Lord Nisringadeva in Mayapur. Went to Jagannath Puri. Please, Lord Jagannath, we want to spread your glories all, all over the universe. Please let me help in this way. Uh, let me serve in this way. I went to, I went to um, Sakshi Gopal. I went to Bhuvaneshwar. I went to um, Shiratori Gopinath. Then I went to Hari, I went to Kudukshetra. I, begging Krishna, Krishna, you spoke the Bhagavad Gita. We need to engage people. Yayinam, what's the last verse? Um, Name, um, there's no one more dear to me. Krishna ends the Bhagavad Gita, the one who, you know, presents this Bhagavad Gita. So, Nacha Tasma Manushe Shukashame Priya Kritama. Krishna used the word Priya. There's no one more dear. And then he says, nor will there ever be one more dear to me than he. That's how Krishna ends the Bhagavad Gita. I think it's time for us also to wrap it up. We've gone 20 minutes Thank over. You. Okay. Uh, this has been the longest it's, section it's, so it's far. Good. It's because we have we have cups full of ink. Prabhu is just trying to pour in the nectar until there's no more ink left. That's yeah, I'm preaching to myself. I'm preaching overflowing. to myself. We're overflowing here. Overflowing with spiritual ecstasy. So, Gorvani, you want to wrap it up? Any final or by the ways? I just like to say I uh, thank you, Govinda Dutpabu. I, I ask Govinda Dutpabu. He's such an advanced devotee. I mean, some people you have to massage their feet, you have to give them, you know, three months, and you know, it's so much you gotta go through to get them to, you know, to do some service. But I just talk call Govinda Dutt in and out of the clear blue sky and talk to him in months and months and immediately, sure, Prabhu, sure. <laughs> Such a wonderful devotee, you know. It's, I mean, that's devotee. You know, always willing to serve, and you know, and always willing to, to engage in Krishna's service. So, thank you so much, Prabhu, for thank keep you safe for out me. there. You know, glory to all of many, many years of service and all success with food distribution. You're definitely going to be success, successful. Thank you, Rani Prabhu. Uh, wrap it up. So much. It's such a pleasure to be with all of you. Thank you for 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 crowning our week with your association and starting off the new week uh, most of us would not have had this opportunity if not for this incredible karuna the karuna of the corona virus <laughs> so uh we try and see this as an opportunity there's nothing krishna doesn't do anything with no reason and Srila Prabhupada used to say that d the devotees, the Vaishnavas, they're like expert businessmen. They make money when the markets go up and they make money when the markets go down. <laughs> so we are here. We're, we're trying to take as much benefit as possible from this time and really drink deeply. Who knows if we'll ever have a chance like this again to go through together in Sangha, Bhaktuno Thakur's Bhajans with like-minded souls. Under the guidance of the Vaishnavas. Thank you so much. Thank you to Srivani. Happy Mother's Day to Vishnu and Srivani. And uh, and to all of you, thank you so much. Happy Mother's Day to Connie. And let's see, whoever who else here is a mom? 
Uh, we wish you in the future happy Mother's Day, Sugopi Radha Devi. And uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you to all of you. A special thanks to, again, to Govinda Datta Prabhu for joining us. Uh, spread the word on uh, the videos go up on, on Gauravani YouTube channel. So if anyone wants to see this video or share it with anyone. Um, last week's video, I got a little behind. Last week's video is not up yet, but uh, it will be shortly. Thank you so much. My love and respects to all of you. Thank you all. Bunch of kapatulis, chao, kriba singi, chao, patitam, 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 chao, Thank you.